right guys just got the trailer hooked up it was a pain in my ass I had to the the connecting piece that connects the lights uh, from my truck to the trailer was all fucking corroded I went to auto parts store and got some like electrical spray and wire brushes and I just spent probably like an hour just scrubbing and spraying the inside of these things and got it to work so they would let me take the trailer now I'm gonna do my least favorite part and load it all up and then I will be leaving Iowa never to return as a citizen of the state again all right i got everything packed up in my massive six by fucking 12 trailer for one person i have entirely too much shit and every time i want to i realize i have too much shit when i'm moving by the time i get back you know, or get to the new uh, place that I'm going. I'm always too fucking lazy to get it sorted. So, I will keep you posted. I'm gonna go, I haven't eaten today, it's 3.30. I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna jump on the interstate hope this thing doesn't fall apart and go up to Minnesota where I will finally be rid of this shithole state
halfway done. I've got, I, I've just got to move everything into a storage unit. I'm thinking about just straight up like taking a day or two and and getting rid of like a bunch of shit so that when I do move this again I don't have to it doesn't take as long or whatever because I've just got too much but uh, that I'll worry about that tomorrow today I'm gonna be stopping for dinner with some friends in Minneapolis and then probably driving up to Jay Cook State Park or something just because I'm not uh, really I've got all this shit I'm not really equipped for camping like uh, in the middle of the woods or anything so I might get like a pull through spot if they have any available and you know things might not work out I might not get a job or there might be some catastrophic accident or something like that right but I would rather have uh, I would rather fail in Minnesota than succeed in Iowa let's put it that way alright guys things are fucked so my battery died because my alternator, I'm assuming, was not charging my truck. So I am outside of Minneapolis right now, broke down on the side of the road. This happened, I don't know, a half hour ago as well. It, it, we were at a dead stop because there must have been an accident up ahead or something. Uh, I got my battery like jump start pack out. I was able to restart it and I got, I don't know, four or five miles down the road. So I'm going to try to do the same thing and get to an O'Reilly's and then I guess learn how to change an alternator because I'm a, it's like 5.30 at night or in the afternoon right now and I do not think that any uh, mechanics will be open at this time. So I might have to figure it out on my own. I gotta say this is one of the worst moving days I have ever had I have moved close to two dozen times in my life and this is absolutely by far the worst experience I have ever had and uh, <laughs> I was talking to my buddy who helped me out a lot uh, to try to guide me to services or something in the area and I was just saying dude I I think God does not want me in this state because every time I try to get here, uh, it's a no-go. But we're not going to let a little thing like God stop us now, are we? Alright, see ya. Fucking made it to O'Reilly's. Let's see what the problem is and see if I can fix it tonight or... I'm just gonna sleep in my truck right here in the driver's seat until a mechanic's open tomorrow or something. All right. All right, guys. So, circumstances have led to me needing to replace an alternator. I do not know how to do that. I looked up a YouTube video. So, but that was, it was for a different make and model, model, or is for a different uh, model Ford. I'm not gonna mess with this part. Pretty much, I have to get under this like uh, air filter hose to get to the alternator back here uh, that's the goal for now all right I'm gonna start uh, by taking this off of the battery 
a lot of corrosion even though it's a new battery I don't know why but uh, I'm gonna slip this off so that I live through this procedure I do not know shit about cars and all that so this is gonna be a big pain in my ass but the guy who offered to help me uh, said I could probably figure it out but he doesn't oops in an O'Reilly Auto Parts parking lot right now, south of Minneapolis. I was hoping to get all the way to fucking Jay Cook State Park tonight. I guess I still might, depending on how long this takes. But, uh, it's not gonna be fun. The guy did come out and test uh, the battery and alternate and everything, so it is definitely the alternator that's a problem. Well, God damn it. What am I supposed to do? Like, can I just loosen this hose clamp and pull it off? That's what I tried to do over here, but there's something extra over there. I'm gonna try to do it on this side. Maybe it'll be different. I guess I'm thankful that I uh, bothered to start learning on a bike. Makes me feel a little bit more confident in this other stuff. Okay. This one, this hose clamp might be different. I, I don't know for sure, but hopefully you guys can see I'm not turn the angle on this. Hey, all right. Well, that gives me some room. I don't know how I'm gonna keep this out of the way, but Better than nothing. Is this supposed to go somewhere? Shit. I should have paid more attention. Alright, now I have to... Loosen the tension, whatever. big guy first. It's kind of deep in there. Probably not going to get a good angle for you, but big by a lot. What the fuck? This? Hey! It was 13 millimeters, it looks like. metal is still kind of hot from driving I gave it like the guy that was gonna help me out get, said at least 45 minutes so it's it's been 45 minutes right now I am uh, 
trying to I think that's the tensioner and I am trying my best to loosen it to get the belt off so that I can eventually then get the alternator off that's what I'm doing I honestly do not know if anything I'm doing is making a difference right now on the tension of this not sure if it's supposed to take this long if I had like a power tool it might go a lot faster but I don't this is actually a shop O'Reilly Auto Parts is letting me use this from their shop so that's nice of them hmm millimeter maybe I could just reach it well hmm this fucking fan is in the way I don't know if this, fuck, if this timing belt is supposed to be as tight as it is. Well, you guys probably can't see anything anyway. So I'm going to shut this off for now. Alright guys, so I had been doing it wrong. I got the timing belt off. That There's an arm that you just adjust with... There's no screw. I thought it was like or a socket. And you needed the socket to like unscrew one of these bolts or something no so i tighten those back up and it's just a lever arm that you can loosen the thing so now i have access to the alternator you can see i took the uh, air filter hose off because it's just pissing me off so anyway that's where i'm at okay now we're getting somewhere I hope this nut does not drop because that would be bad. Got it? Alright. Alternator is disconnected. could not get these fuckers off 
without the long lever. I had to break them. Well, I haven't broke all of them yet, but I got the first one, which gave me hope for the others, so that's kind of where we're at. And this is just so fucking tight down in there. God damn it. All right. I finally think I'm going to have the thing out. And that's what scares me. Because once this is out, it is up to me to put the fucking rest of it back in. And I have to remember how to do it. I don't want this truck to fall apart. I could be just making the worst fucking mistake of my life right now and the truck's gonna explode downtown Minneapolis or some shit and I'm fucked I, like I don't know if I already made some egregious mistake or whatever but we'll see I guess adjusted my the way this camera is sitting this might be better now it's higher up on my chest I kind of wish I would have got a, just a head rig even though it looks more ridiculous and conspicuous and here's a something worrying maybe to me this isn't attached to, there was nothing attached to this at any point it looks like it goes to something but there was nothing on it. So we're just gonna let that ride as if it's not a problem. Also, for anyone watching that works on cars, this has taken me well over an hour at this point. So you can laugh at my incompetence all you want. But I, I have never done any shit like this before. And there it is. Oh. I cannot believe we got this fucking thing out. It is still hot as shit. Jesus. All right. Now for the nice new one. I really hope this works. It doesn't. I mean, it looks pretty much identical, except for this part. But I don't know if that matters. Does that matter? I don't know. Probably not. We're gonna go with no, so that I can... I mean, nothing else has gone right today though, so why would this? I don't know if there's an order that you're supposed to tighten these up in or whatever, but I am...
see, I don't know what, I don't know what this is supposed to go to. It doesn't... Make sure we can get all of these in. I don't think I got this seated right and I tightened it too much already. Kind of a car guy, I guess. He said before his truck. So I bet there's someone seeing some egregious mistake right now. And don't fucking turn it on. You're gonna die. off significantly. It was like 89 degrees. Hottest fucking day of the year so far. Sweat my ass off. No AC. Moved everything in my life. Already one of the most stressful things you can do. And my fucking alternator died. What a, what a fucking, oh, and before that, my trailer lights didn't work. And I thought I was so fucking smart. Oh yeah. I I used like a wire brush on them and some electrical spray or whatever and I got them serviceable. Well then on the highway, like just if, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes before I realized my battery was fucked. Or uh, before my battery actually got fucked, I saw that something was wrong with it. I was like, Jesus Christ, is that the, is that something I did with the trailer lights? You know? Well, it wasn't. I kind of figured something was wrong with the alternator because no matter how much gas I was giving it. All right, that's on, that's on. Whew. Alter new alternator is in. 
Holy shit. Alright. And this isn't corroded at all. Just gotta be careful with it. I'm so fucking exhausted though. I just wanna get this over with. I don't even know. Oh, where am I gonna camp tonight? Where am I gonna stay? Should I just get a hotel, guys? After this shit? Just say fuck it. Uh, Alright. The alternator is in. And plugged in. Screwed on. So now... I think I put the timing belt back on. And then I put the hose back on and then I put the cover for the hose back on and then I put the battery back together. So I'm going to organize these tools that I've been using. Some of them are mine, some of them are the stores. And then uh, the guy said he was going to print me out a diagram for how the, or it's the serpentine belt, not the timing belt. The serpentine belt, that's got to go a specific way. So. I will uh, get that all sorted, probably off camera. The next thing you'll see is me turning it on and seeing if I explode. All right. All right. So I use this bottom diagram. I'm pretty sure that's how I put it back on. And now I am replace it or reinstalling this hose here. Mosquitoes are out a bit. Just want to get this tight enough. It's not going to come off. I don't know how you're supposed to, how you're supposed to get it, but I think this thing just goes back in to this hole. I don't know if you have to do anything special for it. It just kind of sits in there. I don't know, unfortunately. I'll tighten this side back up. And then I just have to put the cover on and then the battery reconnect the the negative lead and we are gonna be golden I hope or we'll die I'll take you there at this point honestly got the truck running so battery died on my GoPro and I I don't know where the fuck my spares are right now they're somewhere in my mess I'll look for more tomorrow but for now I'll just use my phone it's gonna be probably worse quality but I don't need it for any action or anything so I'm gonna return their tools pay for the alternator and then take off we did it I'm a mechanic now I'm a real man Family man. All right. Uh, well, you can't probably see me. It is 12:52 at in the morning, June 1st. I am pulling into Banning State Park Campground. It's about a mile down the road here. I am hoping there's a spot, otherwise I'm going to have to just pull over on the shoulder and sleep and figure out something in the morning if they want me to pay or something for doing that. Fucking crazy day, glad it's over. I guess it's not over yet, I'm going to probably set up a tent and sleeping pad and bag. 
because I don't have any place to sleep in this truck. And hopefully knock out like eight or nine hours of sleep, but who knows if it's loud. I feel bad for probably bothering whoever's asleep bet down here. I don't, maybe it's full or maybe it's empty, I don't know. But either way, I'm coming. So, it's about five in the morning. Got much less than four hours of sleep last night. I'll try to go back to sleep here in a bit, but Pretty much, I set my dad up in the dark, which would have been fine and fast, and I could have got it up in like a minute or two, except the poles, like the strings that are supposed to keep the poles taut together were just totally worn out and loose and I couldn't get the poles together so for probably 15 20 minutes I'm staying in the dark I had my headlamp on but I just got fucking eaten alive by mosquitoes I knew there's gonna be mosquitoes, so I was like, oh, I gotta get this tent up quick, but it just, fuck, it was not happening. And then, the zipper wouldn't align properly with itself. So then, for another 20 minutes, when I did finally get the poles together, and the, like, the, bug net part on the zipper was, I, I mean mosquitoes are probably just flying into this fucking tent and I'm desperately trying to figure out how to get it closed and I used several techniques and eventually got it serviceable I don't know if you can see how many mosquitoes there are So a bunch got in, and then for the next like two hours, I was also getting eaten alive. Look, there's, there's, a lot of these are on the outside, but some are full of my blood. They got, I mean, they can barely fucking fly. They got so much. That's probably from when I was asleep, because when I was awake, I was swatting at them. But, uh, yeah, I made it to Banning State Park. Oh, yeah, I was. The sleeping bag I got is for way too cold of temperatures. It's like, I don't know. Probably I'll just sweat my ass off all night. Getting eaten alive. Finally, I think what did it is the mosquitoes in here just got their fill and they just stopped. And I was finally able to get some peaceful sleep. And woke up and the sound of the all the birds singing and some dogs were howling. It sounded kind of like wolves. That's how wild it is up here, you know. Even the dogs sound like wolves. And they're remembering some deep ancestral knowledge. But, uh... Yeah, so... 
later when I actually wake up. I'm gonna sprint to my truck. Throw on some long sleeve stuff. Long pants, long sleeve. Probably see if there's like a shower or something in the campground. I don't even know. I had to make reservation last night online. Luckily, I got service out here. But, uh, I'm gonna try to shower and then make it to Duluth and unload all my shit so that I don't have this problem. Obviously, I need a new tent. This one's junk. I should have tested it beforehand. It's never let me down until, I mean, yesterday was one of the worst days of my life, probably, just in terms of I, like I didn't feel stressed, that stress for what was happening, but uh, it was just every possible thing that I like couldn't have planned for, I guess, went wrong. The fucking taillights set me back like three hours or two, probably two hours. The Alternator sent me back fucking five hours, probably more. And it was fucking scary. Being broke down on the highway in r rush hour traffic with no battery and just hoping that my battery pack had leapfrogged me enough. Like the jump pack that I had could leapfrog me to the auto parts store. I can't even fucking believe that I I am so mechanically stupid I can't believe I was able to install that new alternator so that's kind of a cool achievement I think a part of the problem last night too I probably could have fallen asleep if I hadn't chugged a monster to drive up here I never drink energy drinks but I was just so defeated yesterday I was like I need I need to get further north so that tomorrow is easier even if tonight's gonna suck so that's what I did chucked an energy drink and was, I paid for it trying to sleep and sweat my ass off in this tent but whatever I feel I've suffered worse uh, discomfort than this so all right, just an update on my delirious thoughts this morning. The first morning of true freedom. Bunch of mosquitoes on the tent. And, I don't know if you can see, but there's a chipmunk out there with, he's uh, paralyzed, it looks like, from, there's back legs, something's wrong with him, he's just pulling himself around by his front, and he's not really afraid of people, well... He's not afraid of my voice, and he barely ran off when he, he came up to my tent and, like, nibbled on it a little. I didn't know what it was, so I shooed, him, shooed it away, and it turns out it was just that little guy. And, honestly, I know you're not supposed to feed wildlife, but I think this is the moral exception. So I'm going to grab some almonds and some sunflower seeds. And he's probably already habituated people. I mean, he's a chipmunk that lives at a campground, so. And he's fucking paralyzed. Probably some person did it to him. Maybe it's, I don't know, some disease or genetic thing. But I imagine the worst of people. So I'm going to... <laughs> start getting ready stay in this tent as long as I can and then 
run to my truck, grab a long sleeve, grab my some food for the chipmunk, and then I think that I actually parked right next to a shower, so I'm going to run to that and take a shower, or at least use the restroom if that's all it is. All right. Here's the paralyzed little guy. I threw him some sunflower seeds and some almonds, so hopefully that'll keep him going for a bit. I'm getting to eat up, so I'm gonna go to my truck. set up my P.O. box and uh, then probably get some food and start making calls to change my address for certain services. I have not eaten a day and it is almost three. All right, sounds good. All right, this is tonight's campground. I'm at Jay Cook State Park. I haven't got everything set up yet. I'm gonna be sleeping in my truck. I got a new pot here. It's, uh, I don't remember how many liters, but it's way bigger than the one I have and it packs down real low. I'm making some Gresso Minestrone. Mm. 25 bucks for this campsite processed a bit of just little branches I'm not having a big fire tonight or anything just enough to keep kind of the bugs away while I'm eating throw some bigger things on here and that is it. Looks like it's a little, once I'm done eating, I'm gonna practice harmonica a bit, quietly, then hop in the truck and see uh, if I wanna read a little bit maybe, or just go to sleep. I'm pretty damn tired. Just running around doing all these errands all day. I went to, got my P.O. box set up. I went and got that pot and a new tent because my other tent, like I said, just got destroyed. And just wore down over time and finally was nightmarish yesterday. I should kind of probably be setting that tent up now and just 
Actually, I might do that. I'll set the tent up, the new one that I got, and and try it out. Uh, it's a two-person, but it's only like it's less than three pounds, which is I think I, I think I got a pretty good deal. It's like four hundred bucks probably. But uh, yep, so that's what I'll be doing. I am standing on a really cool swinging bridge at Jay Cook State Park. I have never... Friday, June 2nd, I have done every errand I can think of to get my life more or less set up up here, applied and received uh, health insurance. I'm just waiting on a card, but I think it's active. I applied for food stamps. Um, not sure if that's gone through or if it's going to I'm not super worried if it does or doesn't it would be nice to have right now I'm going through two harbors on my way up the north shore but being it is nice and it is summer and it is the weekend uh, there's a lot more traffic than I think there normally would be but I'm going to my buddy Michaela and Han have given me, helped me kind of find a, a dispersed camping spot that's probably within an hour and a half of Duluth. And I'm either going to stay there for a couple days and then go back to Duluth, you know, like two or three nights, or I'm going to stay there tonight and see how I feel and just put all the stuff on my bike and go ahead and ride up the gunflint like I was planning on at the beginning. It's taken me long. I'm <clears throat> what I thought was going to happen and what actually happened were two different things. Things were just so much busier and took so much longer when I got here that it, it, I thought I was already going to be biking right? So I'm kind of cheating by jumping ahead, but at the same time, I don't really think I'm going to be missing that much, uh, between Duluth and where I'm going to be staying. That's a well-worn path for me. I'm familiar with it. The main part of the trip that I was interested in is actually north of the North Shore, so 
yep, we'll see what happens. I'll uh, keep you updated on what, what campsite I get to, and I'll probably just stay in my truck tonight. I don't really want to set up my tent. I already practiced that last night. So, all right. All right, we are in Finland State Forest somewhere. It's like a abandoned mine area or something. And there were some spots down at the bottom, but I'm curious, like what's up these roads? If there's another, like a place people go up here or something. Oh, this is just the, looks like the train tracks or something. That's interesting. Probably just gonna turn around up here if there's nothing already established. I think I could camp anywhere here though. Looks like people go mudding there. Probably. Oh, yeah, probably just go straight up that too, yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know if anyone's ever camped here, but. Uh, at least up here, I saw some, like I said, some fire rings down below. I don't know if, I don't think this track still operates, so I hope not at least. So it'll be a loud evening. Bugs are getting in. Lots of mosquitoes up here. Hmm. Oh, there's this little spot over here. Maybe I'll park here and camp out. Alright, so what I am doing here, I am actually doing some meal prep for my bike packing. I'm gonna do, I got seven breakfasts that I'm working on here in these plastic bags that I have left over from my apartment. I saw this, or a similar recipe on a guy's channel, Northern Scavenger, I think. He said it was like a thousand calories breakfast, I didn't do it very good, and I could only find full flax seed, but it's a bunch of granola, some flax seeds, some peanut butter powder, which I actually had left over somewhere in here. Walnuts, uh, cranberries, and protein uh, powder, which I also have. So, I'm just kind of going around, filling all these up. I don't think mine's going to be uh, as mathematically accurate as his was, but, you know. Better than nothing. I tried to, uh, like a, a similar thing at home and peanut butter powder when you like, rehydrate it, it's actually pretty good with the, the oatmeal. So I think this is going to be an enjoyable breakfast. Anyway, might forego a fire tonight, but got some water. going. Just gonna have uh, some quick rice. With a chicken pa packet. Not really that hungry. And a protein bar. Some water. And that'll be tonight's dinner. Actually while that boils I might get some wood ready and maybe try to start a little fire. We'll see.
coworkers got me this bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee honey as a going away present. So now that I'm finally where I want to be in the Northwoods, I figured it's a good time to take a swig. Very sweet and smooth. This collapsible pot for the uh, isopropyl burner that I have is ten out of ten. Love it. I'm really bundled up right now because the mosquitoes are fucking pretty crazy. <laughs> I sprayed a lot of DEET on me and I treated my clothes earlier as well but uh, they're very tenacious they kind of get a whiff and then go away not that one though but uh, this uh just staying bundled is nice for me i think eventually i'll get a little bit more habituated to them but i'd rather be comfortable One thing is true about me, is that I'm a terrible cook. I burnt the rice, stuck to the bottom of the pan now. It's gonna be annoying to get off when I'm done. He said reduce heat and simmer for seven minutes. Seven minutes later, it's burned. I must not have reduced the heat enough. Tasty though, what's not burned? A woodpecker. I see that. He's not afraid of death. Or me at least. Is it blind? Right here, buddy. That would probably be a good time for me to learn how to zoom on this thing. If you even can. <laughs> Maybe not.
Absolutely incredible view. Thank <laughs> you. 